Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. Let's go, everybody. Also joined by special guest, Gaspar Randazzo. He was a contestant and winner of the trust a game agreed on netflix you can see our playlist we reviewed every episode this will be our third cast interview as well check out our interviews with Lindsay and brian on the playlist before gasper thank you for your time man yeah thank you guys for having me so this show frankly for us we uh we cover everything we really look out in this when new shows pop up we always get a little intrigued you're really going to go one of two ways they're going to be great or they're just going to be complete flops and I mean, we love the show I mean, we thought it was a great premise. Um, We thought maybe early on that the cast was, you know, it's like, man, they are really fighting over nothing, right? But over time, I think we really got to know you guys as people. And I think over time, I think everyone really grew to love some of you guys, especially people like yourself, Brian. So kind of just to kick it off, what has your experience been since you've been home and the show has aired? Well, so just to real quick, even before that, like the whole concept of the show, like there would be nights where I'd be like laying in bed and I'm like, this is a really freaking cool concept. Like yeah, I'd be yeah. saying it out loud, like I'd look at the cameras and be like, you guys did a great job with this show, like <laughs> super smart. And like yeah. they would laugh and be like, cause you guys are playing checkers. We're playing chess. Cause we're watching everything you're doing and we're just moving pieces as you're doing it. So I was like, oh, all right. So I was like, never let them know your next move. Like I was like running around the house, you know, cause it, it, it was really just really good show. Like, even if I wasn't on it, I would have been like, this is a good show. Um, as far as like the come home. So for me, like, so I've been doing stand up for a few years. I've gained like decent following through it, doing shows. But for a long time, like I've only always been recognized by my demographic. My demographic is I'm a teacher. So my demographic is female. It's my wife's nightmare demographic. It's females ages 22 to 45. Yeah. And that's all that ever stops me, <laughs> sees me. They're always teachers. They're always women. And that's always been my demographic from Instagram, from in the street, if I'm in Target. But now all of a sudden it's like random people who would have never stopped me are like, oh, shoot, you're that guy from the trust. <laughs> I was just watching the trust. And it's like, uh, you know, like a, a, a 50 year old guy. Yeah. And like those yeah. people would have like never ever stop me so like that's pretty cool and of course because the show's like still ongoing because like yeah, yeah. it just ended wednesday you know what i mean so mm-hmm. people are like i haven't seen the final yet don't tell me the finale I, i'm gonna go home and watch it because like i know for me in my life like we don't watch shows when they first come out like you know yeah. and you definitely know brian because you got kids on the way like yeah. you got kids so like you don't watch shows when they come out like so I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like I won't say anything assuming they haven't watched, but with social media and everything, like the information is just poured out the minute, you know, it's like, if I miss like a, a Jets game and I'm like, Oh, I'll watch it when I get home. I just won't open my phone. And it's like impossible. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you're going to get hit with scores and this and that. So that's a dangerous game right there. Not watching a football game and expecting not to know what's going on. No, you're, it's impossible. It's a dangerous game. People yeah, are texting no. me and I'm like, nope, nope, I'm not opening your text. Like, oh, they're like, oh, by the way, Aaron Rodgers hurt. You're like, nah, that's not true. There's no way like, that's it might be something important. I'm not opening it until I get home. So, <laughs> but it's been cool. I mean, definitely, uh, you know, I know it's it's been cool. It's just cool to have people and like people are like, I'm rooting for you. Like, I really like you on the show. You know what I mean? So that's nice definitely weird um like with the internet being the internet as you know like netflix said you're gonna no matter what decision you make half the world's gonna hate you and half's gonna love you whether it's that you could say like i'm gonna donate a million dollars to charity and they will say well why don't you donate to like so you know like there's things like that that are funny (laughs) like someone this was my favorite quote was someone said i like when they do and my feedback's been like 99% positive, but someone said, I like when they do aerial camera views so you could see where Gasper's hairline receded to. <laughs> like, why? Why like that? Really like, going always that person. Like, and like, honestly, I don't care. I think that's hysterical, but it's just like, that is what you say, you know? Some people say when they're watching, there's there obviously were a lot of arguments. Some people thought they were more on the pettier side than, you know, big, important fights. Was the was the house fun? Was it fun to do the show? Like over how was it? I mean, I know you won in the end, like you walked out with cash, so that obviously helps. 
But like, say you had it one any cash. Like, would you said you had a fun time? No, hell no. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, you know, because people are like, well, you were in paradise. Yeah, I was in paradise with some people I liked a lot. <laughs> you know, what I mean? not everybody. <laughs> and, and like, the thing is, like, I can get along with anybody. It, it's so like, it wasn't a matter of like. And, and that's why, like, the first few episodes, I'm not even in them because it was drama right off the bat, and that's not me. Yeah. So, like, I was like, oh, you guys are all going to fight? Like, cool. Like, have fun. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting involved. But, you know, it, it's a hard question because it's like, it, it goes back to the same concept of when people are like, well, how did you guys all say, like, oh, I love, you know, I love Brian. I love Jake. I love Tolu. I love Winnie. You guys only knew each other two days. But I try to explain to people. I say, take, take, um, you know, any group of people and you're, you're together for 18 hours a day. The only time you're not together is when you're sleeping. And in those 18 hours, there's no phones. There's no TV. There's no books. It's literally just you talking. So you really do get close to people yeah. in a short amount of time. In two days, I hung out with Brian for 36 hours. I think <laughs> I didn't hang out with my wife for 36 hours until we were on like our 10th date. You know what I mean? Like if you yeah. add up the, the amount time, of hours, then yeah. I was already like, oh, I love you. So like, you know what I'm saying? So if you think of the time <laughs> crunch, it's all the same. So you know, it wasn't that it was like, it wasn't, there was like activities to do all day. And you're like, oh, let's hang out. It was kind of stressful. Like, you're just like, you're like, every time, you know, a door opened, you're like, oh God, are we about to go through a test? Are we about to fight? Is someone going to, you know, you walk into a room, everybody stops talking. You're like, oh, are you guys talking about me? You know, it's just like this constant worry. And that's not fun. Was but, the food good at least? What? Was the food good at least? It was all right. It was like, <laughs> it, 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 he it, walked no. out with money, bro. The the food was good, but it was the same three meals every day. It was chicken uh, and rice, vegetables and rice, or beef and rice, which I actually like all three of those, so yeah. I didn't mind. But like, once again, you know, thirty straight yep. days of chicken and rice sounds but, like a college kid trying to bulk up. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't trying to. So Did you say thirty straight days. Or whatever it was, 25 days we were there. 20 that's a lot longer than I thought. Wait, you were there that long? Yeah. Whew. We thought it was like two weeks. Yeah, because the way it's like done, it's like bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everything looks like we wake up, we went to bed. So I'm going to, I think we might have, okay, so it might have been overall 25 days. I think we were on the like filming 21 of them, 22. But like we had a pre shoot day, a post shoot day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's as long as Survivor. Of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's as long as Survivor, Bill. She at least they didn't have to sleep out in the beach, though. I mean, you know, yeah, no, we like slept bed. in comfortable beds in a in paradise for real. It was fun, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, he's like, you know, we won. It was okay. Um, yeah. but I, I guess, guess really talking about you, fun. you say you weren't really featured early, right? But they did feature you a lot right in that cliffhanger episode when you made the decision to knock out Lindsay. And then I thought, interestingly, the only lie you told, you just didn't really want to fess up to anyone. Did you later up, fess, one, do you feel bad about that decision now? Two, did you fess up later on to people? Did they just not show that? Or were you actually worried that if people knew you did that, that you were in trouble? Because I thought you had numbers by then. So, uh, well, I'll break down that whole thing. So, number one, did I feel bad? I feel bad for Lindsay the person. Yeah. she's not a bad person and like and she spoke to you guys and like yeah. her and i have cleared the air we're good like Lindsay's like a huge big brother fan Lindsay understands reality tv she knows it's a game she knows people are gonna yeah. lose like you don't win the super bowl and then apologize to the other team for beating them you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's like Lindsay can respect the gameplay yeah. Lindsay also said like in watching back like she's like yeah i i could see that some of the stuff i did seemed a little nuts like and i'm sorry for that what they didn't show is that tolu myself and brian were very close so like this whole concept of a guys versus girls alliance wasn't really real that was like a a, a post-production created thing we were like me brian and tolu were really close i knew tolu would never vote for me when they did that laundry list of people and it was literally everyone's name was on Lindsay's list I was like, oh shit, like you actually might vote for us because 
you have just voted at somebody every single time. Yep. Whereas in Tolu, I knew was never going to vote for me. She was, she was my best friend in the house. So I was like, I'm not worried about <laughs> Tolu going forward, but I am a little worried, not necessarily for me, but I was worried for Jake or Brian with Lindsay. So it kind of came down to like, I have to make a decision here. Yeah. And we didn't know what the cards were. So I was like, if Tolu's votes canceled out, then that's it. She's going home. So I just figured, let me try to help out. I do feel bad that like Lindsay had to see it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And, it, and then what happened was the next day was the finale. So I was like, the damage is done. Do I come out? And And the truth is, what they don't show is me, Jake, and Brian were already discussing eliminating Lindsay. So, like, they briefly show us talking on the dock, Brian and I, when Lindsay was, like, creeping in the bushes. So, like, <laughs> they, they do vaguely show it, but, like, they didn't show the full extent that we were like, yeah, Lindsay proved. And then she came out and started yelling at all of us, and we were like, yeah. Like, we this is a wild card right now. Tolu likes us. We're not sure where Lindsay's head's at. So we, it was going, they wouldn't have, I know them, they wouldn't have eliminated me if I had told them. Tolu wouldn't have been mad because obviously I was doing it to help her and Julie would have understood. So I don't think it would have impacted the game for me, but I just felt like we are on the last day. So like, do I just say, hey, yeah. everybody, quick little wrinkle. But yeah. like literally the minute filming was done, I was like, guys, I gotta get something off my chest. And I told them and they were like, yeah, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> like, cool. You Dope, man. That would have been your Bryce moment. Like, hey, by the way, I'm a millionaire. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't realize we have to start declaring our financial statements <laughs> with people. But from now on, after that, I every time I walk into a room, I let everybody know how much money's in my bank account. I think yeah. that that move you made, though, was the right move. Like you said, yeah, the too. word you said was wild card. And like that you got to get you knew where if Tol Tolu was going to vote, you knew where she was going. You didn't know where Lindsay was going to go. So that was the right move. In well, I knew she was going to go after Tolu in that moment. But the next round, when it's yeah, just exactly. this is the end, I was like, mm. you know what? When I watched back the show and see her interviews and how she said, I will do whatever it takes to make the most money and get to the end of the game. At that point, why would you not then just throw one more vote? Because it's like you already voted every single time. Yeah, it's, I, like, yeah, yeah. So it's and then what? You, you, the game's over. So one of us goes home, and you walk the other way. It's not. What are we gonna fist fight? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's, it's a, over. So yeah, you know. Brian famously know. says it's a it's a game show for money. Mm -hmm. At the mm -hmm. end of the yeah, day, and that's the thing. Like at the end of the day, like. Winnie, Winnie and I like were at odds after it aired and like Winnie was mad or whatever. But then like when Winnie watched it back, she was like, I got to give it to you. She's like, you played a game. She's like, all this time, I thought you were just like hanging out, laughing by the pool, joking around. She's like, you were really playing a game and like game respects game. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it, you know, how many times like Michael Jordan, you know, loved playing Kobe Bryant because they were both great players. Like, right. So, no, it makes sense. I get, I, I get it. So, would uh, would you do reality TV again? I don't know. It, it really depends. It depends on the, like. So, for me to do this show, I had to resign from being a teacher because I can't get. You couldn't get paid from two entities at the same time. So, I resigned from being a teacher and basically took a bet on myself that That's I awesome. will be able to come home and get hired again, and I did. I had to go through the paperwork, get reinstated. It was a pain in the ass. But at the end of the day, obviously it paid off because I made more money in a month than I would have made in half, you know, half a year of teaching. <laughs> but but like I took a gamble because I was like, if I say no and then this show airs over the summer or whenever, I'm going to be pissed that I could have been part of it. So the show's really got to be worth it. You know what I mean? Like you mm -hmm. don't get paid from a lot of reality shows unless you win. Like yeah. you don't get a big payday. So it's like, do I quit again to just be a reality TV show hopper? I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, no, I if it. they offer me like a hosting spot or a Netflix special where I do comedy, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. There's yeah. other things that can potentially happen, you know, but I don't know. We'll see. When did this film, by the way? Uh, March of last year. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So. Took it always that's oh that's always the one thing that always gets me is like how long sometimes it takes for some of this stuff to come to air 
And like that was like what Brian and Brian was talking about that in the last episode. Like again, it's nothing against Netflix specifically, but it was he was going, he's going through his adoption, right? And you're waiting for the show to pay you, and you're like, we filmed like a year ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it's now February, so it was literally almost it was eleven months ago it finally came out. But at the same time, like you know, you got to figure they're going through twenty one days of twenty four hours of footage, yeah, condensing yeah. it to forty two minutes, and then how the storyline goes. So like I learned and like, this is just blew my mind. Like how they make an episode is like, all right. So episode one, Joel's gets eliminated. They start there. They put that here. Right. And then they say, what moments led Work to their way back. getting eliminated? Mm -hmm. So it's like me telling a funny story at the pool had nothing to do with Joel's getting eliminated. So it's irrelevant in the grand scheme of the show. Yep. But mm -hmm. now like, but you got to also show people's personalities. You got to make things link up. So it's like, you know, there's a lot more to it. No, for sure. I agree. I think yeah. they, it's, it's there's a lot of work involved. And look, those net, same Netflix producers are doing like three or four other reality TV shows that they have yeah. like in rotation. So, and and that's the other thing. Like, and now you got all these people working on multiple shows while they're, you know, so. Brian, do you have anything else? I think honestly, this has been really fun. Get to like kind of learn a bit more of the fun side of this. Um, I mean, just before we go out, do you want to like talk about like your stand up a little bit at all or promote that? Yeah. So if you ever want to come see me do stand up, I am. I'm in Rochester next week. The show sold out. They just added a second show. Nice. I'm in New York City. Show sold out. They're going to add a second show. Uh, I'm in San Diego. I'm in Arizona. They're, those are sold out. They added second shows and third shows already. So I'm in. Uh, I'm in a bunch of other places. Chicago, Connecticut. Um, this is all on your website. If people they're all on my website, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I see it. It's on your Instagram. Yeah. We can definitely yeah, I mean, throw Jersey, we'll link Poughkeepsie. it out there. Uh, Did this yeah. show help you like get more of like more sales or ticket sales? Do you think? Uh, so I, I honestly, knock on wood, I I've, I've been selling really well prior to the show. But what I think Good. now the show has done is it took like the casual fan who was like, "Oh, I like your skits on Instagram," yeah. and now they're like, "Oh shoot, now you were like on a TV show," which makes you more legit in the eyes right. of people. So yeah. like took like that, like on the fence to go to a show fan and they're like, shit, I better buy tickets. Cause like this guy's on a TV show right. or it introduced me to new people who would have never came and saw the show. Yeah. You definitely had a, a good but... social before a buddy of mine who I like play games with and all who's a teacher. He was like, Oh, I knew him. Like I follow him on, in on Instagram already. Cause he's a teacher as well. So, I mean, yeah. like you said, you definitely had a, a nice following already for sure. Yeah. So it's, awesome. been, it's been good before the show. So I'm assuming it's only going to get better, which is cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So well, you deserve it, brother. And we appreciate Thank it. We, appreciate we enjoyed it. watching you on the show. Yeah, for sure. You did Thank great you. throughout. Um, Guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, all the playlists, catch all of our greed, uh, the trust interviews, uh, everything else we're covering. We, basically, every reality show that is on right now, we have some form of coverage for. Make sure you check out Gasper's comedy stuff, his Instagram. We'll link all of that in the description of the video. My friend, don't be a stranger. Thank you for coming <laughs> on and uh, hope to talk to you again. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate it.